The brass city Muradabad was established in 1600 by Murad, the son of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. According to historians, the skill of brass crafts have been in existence for about 5 million years. Hello everyone, this is Prachi Tiwari for SME Futures and today we are here in Brass City to know what goes behind in the making of the bespoke majestic metal handicrafts. The brassware industry in Moradabad bloomed in early 19th century and British took the art to foreign markets. Other immigrating artisans from Banaras, Lucknow, Agra and many other places formed the current cluster of brassware industry in Moradabad. The soil here, as I said, the sand is very conducive for casting. So the casting, it's before the partition of India, you know, it's not recent. It's almost 200 years old, this industry. So this is how it grew and this became a big cluster for brass industry. And secondly, the population here, the people here are very enterprising. So if I have not wrong, in the 70s, early, in fact, early 40s and 50s, there used to be just three or four exporters based out of Muradabad. And the rest were in Delhi. And the rest, I mean, the whole town was supplying to the Delhi exporters. But over the period of time, as you can see now, we have around 5,000 small and big enterprises in Muradabad. Brass is a metal alloy composed of copper and zinc and is used in several applications including industrial equipment, utility items and domestic products. It's a merge of traditional technology merged with the craftsmanship and then you have a, a fine product. It's an alloy of zinc, copper and a certain percentage of nickel. So the ingots are made, they're made in Muradabad with imported scrap. Then there's a casting process depending on the, the item is casted. Then there's the other line which is sheet, brass sheet products. The sheet rolling is done and the items are pressed or made by hand. Thereafter there are a lot of finishes, polishing, etc. When it comes to manufacturing, there are a lot of processes like acid etching, hand cutting, punching, die pressing, a lot of it. And when it comes to finishing, there are processes like electroplating, there are processes like electrophoretic, there are processes like powder coating, spray painting. I mean, it's a very vast category and a lot of finishes that we do. So there are multiple processes that we use to craft our products. The stages of making brass handicrafts include melting the brass slab, pouring it into the frames, beating it to give it shape, finally engraving it, polishing it and painting it. It's a fusion of both. There are certain things which till date we have not been able to you know, mechanize or do an automation. Polishing, manufacturing, grinding by hand, cutting by hand, then antiquing by hand, a lot of things. So it, it basically is it's like a multiple processes depending on the finish. But yes, the major part is all done by the hands. 3D printing has come in, laser etching has come in, CNC is there. So technology is coming up and the way forward from Radhabad is to you know, involve more and more technology. In the brass industry, every worker is involved in one stage of production as each stage requires a specific skill or experience. Some of the artisans have in-house manufacturing units and workshops. Otherwise, different tasks take place in different small manufacturing units. We are directly or indirectly giving employment to more than a million people which is a very big amount if you compare it from the apparels or the textile industry yes the exports are less but the employment generation is more in Muradabad because of the handicraft and handicraft industry and uh, we have a lot of handwork and involved in the industry I am working with Andy Graf. My age is about 32 years old. I have been working for 14 years. I said, Madam, it's just a problem. It's a little bit of work. 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 जी काम बढ़ा है या कम हुआ है या क्या परेशानी 
नहीं ठीक है इस वक्त अल्लाह का शुक्र है सही है सबसे ज़्यादा ये, ये जो कर रहा हूँ मैं इसमें होती है वैसे कुछ नहीं होती है इसमें चूना हर रात पे साफ करनी पड़ती है मुझे हर रात है पैर पे The brass handicrafts are exported to countries like USA, Britain, Canada, Germany, Middle East, etc., and accounts for over 40% of India's exports. So we right now are catering America, we cater to Europe, especially Germany. We have Denmark, Sweden, Norway, like the Scandinavian countries. We cater United Kingdom, and we have. 30% like almost it's 30% US 30% UK and 30% is Europe 10% is the rest of the world so if you talk, talk in terms of export units i would say 7 to 8000 small and big exporters 7 to 8000 and if you say mainstream exporters 3000 yes definitely they are there and besides the export unit there is lot of domestic trade happening because as you see india itself is growing as a purchasing power muradabad is no more called the brass city as the demonetization and pandemic disrupted the businesses it also increased the raw material sizes resulting in the production of other metal wares like iron aluminium etc it uh, muradabad is named as uh, brass city but uh, unfortunately you have uh, very small volumes of brass reason behind is the price points the the metal has gone up uh, in folds and uh, now we have uh, aluminium which has taken place stainless steel iron now lot of wood is in there in the industry and we have glass See, during pandemic the business has increased because people were stuck at their home and they did not want it they to go anywhere so they had money at that time so that they can uh, because there was no spending on on movies there was no spending on traveling there was no spending on restaurants and the only place that people were living in was their house see pandemic period was if you say in terms of business yes it was a deterrent for a few months but it actually put the whole industry into a growth cycle i would say if i say 2021 and 21 22 was a major growth period for across i mean across the industry but what damage it also did was that those 2 3 months when we were actually shut off that made a big impact on the workers and the raw material has increased too much in now is that today is 8500 600 per kg is raw material but we we develop in aluminum and iron is there current status has i mean this year has been really bad really bad i would say if we right i would say if we even touch 70% of our last year's turnovers it would be great the developed industrial area which is being a requirement since 1995 but we are not able to get the developed industrial area see we need we definitely need some help because you know the biggest challenge that we face is innovation there are a lot of people in the market competing with each other so rather than being a competitor for each other we should rather compete with other country according to the up government there are more than 5000 units in moradabad engaged in the manufacturing of handicraft items and more than 0.15 million people are employed in this sector